Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while, but this video is just going to be an update on how the room is doing and I'm going to be doing a bunch of cleaning and stuff too. I have a lot of stuff to do. I have a lot um, to update you guys on. So this might take a couple of days to get everything done. But yeah, uh, trying to make some new videos. But right now I'm outside and I just have to clean out my cricket keepers. And I'll show you how I set those up because I'm out of crickets and I'll have to get some later. So yeah. Okay, I rinsed out the the two containers, large crickets, small crickets, and these are the food dishes. Okay, now I'm just gonna dry these out and I'll show you how I set these up. Okay, so now that these are dry, I just layer the bottom with vermiculite. And shout out to Northern Exotics. Um, this YouTuber, like a long, long time ago, I, uh, I looked at this video and got this idea. So vermiculite helps with like the odor and this is kind of like a substrate for the crickets. So it's pretty interesting. So just like a thin layer like that, it's probably good. And then I'll get the food dish and once I get crickets I'll put like a bunch of cardboard in there so they can climb around but yeah that's basically the the main idea and I got some perfect cubbies for the crickets right here the large up here and the small down there that's the first thing we need uh, to get done today so the animals in the in the room are doing really good um, everything just kind of needs trimmed and cleaned so I, I don't think I can do it all in one day. So I'll probably have to do it today and maybe uh, tomorrow if I have time or maybe the next day, we'll see. But yeah, there's just so much that needs to get done and cleaned and just, you know, just maintained. So I'll just bring you guys along since uh, it's been a while and if I look sweaty, it's cause it's really hot outside. There's also a lot of like extra little things I'd need to check on and uh, work on and also have some some ideas to share with you guys because this room is always changing so it's kind of hard to keep up with you guys but uh, yeah it's everything's growing in nicely like just look at this that's crazy okay so first we're gonna check on the dart frogs and then we'll move on from there so this is how the bioactive dart frog enclosure is looking right now. As you can see, this plant has just started to peek through this little crack and just start growing. But I kind of want to trim it because it's in the way of when I open the door. The plants are doing really well in here. It just needs another trim. Um, and this plant was like falling over but it's looking really healthy. Yeah, it's just a little bit overgrown. As you can see, the creeping fig back here is growing up. This one has grown up all the way and it's like attached to the top. And yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty crazy in here. So I just need to go through here and trim it up. And also clean up the floor a little bit. This is just from when I feed them. Like I dump the uh, the fruit flies in here and a little bit of the excelsior gets in there and I'll just clean that up. And then I'll probably have to add some more leaf litter. It's been a while since I've done that actually. And just clean the glass and just, you know, give this tank some maintenance it's it needs to be done and I also had an idea for all of the tanks to replace the water dish okay and about the dart frogs these guys are doing pretty good 
I'm keeping a close eye on them um, because of what happened to that uh, other frog. I don't know, that, that kind of brought me down a little bit. And I'm just trying to do my best to really make sure these guys are doing okay. Oh yeah, these glass, uh, this glass on the top, I added last time and that helps uh, to increase the humidity. And also, when I've been feeding them, I've been using three different supplements. So we got Herptivite, multivitamins, and I've got uh, calcium, and I have another calcium. And this, uh, I got these three from, well, I got the idea from Josh's frogs. That's what they use. And uh, I just do like, every time I need to feed them, I just switch between the, uh, the supplements so they're getting everything they need so yeah that's that's working out and I'm doing that for everybody too I'm doing it for for the uh, fire blade toads and also the tree frogs as well sorry if I'm a little bit all over the place I have so much that needs to be done it's just all like coming in at once but Yep, let's get started on the dart frogs and uh, trim the plants up. I've got my bucket here also as well. Let's put all the trimmings in. I don't even know how to even start. This is nuts. I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. It's getting crazy in here. Froggies back there. And there's a guy in there too. And also remove like some of these dead leaves and stuff. Just make it look a little nicer in here. I think that's enough trimmings of that plant. Um, this pothos has grown really tall and these leaves are getting really big and broad. Okay, so it looks like this big one was right here and it's starting to die a little bit. And uh, this one's taken over, this creeping fig. Went like all the way through these and these and everything's just moving. Like look at this one, this one's bent. But I don't really wanna like mess with it too much. I'll just let it grow how it grows and whichever plants survive, survive, I guess. I mean, that's, that's how it works in nature, you know, but. It does need a little trimming here and there, so. Oh, what are you doing, buddy? He's looking for food. This is really supposed to just be on the background, but it wanted to go this way, I guess. Let's trim it right here. I really wish this one had a survived a little bit better but it's still making some new shoots out and making some new little plants and this one like just fell this peperomia i think it's having a hard time staying up come on if you're gonna grow that many leaves at least support yourself okay i'm just gonna clean up this uh, floor a little bit that was my mess like i said earlier and i'll uh, clean up the water dish and spray them down Oh, and add some leaf litter too. Then wipe off the glass and we should be good. And as you can see, the moss is growing really nicely because it's been more humid in here. And I've kept uh, spraying it down a lot. And obviously the plants really love that as you can tell. Okay, I cleaned it up a little bit and I'm gonna go get some leaf litter. All right, cool, I got some leaf litter here. So let's just sprinkle this uh, along the floor here. Okay, see, look at that, that looks nice and fresh now. And this will just like uh, make the frogs feel a little safer. It also help uh, 
to enrich them whenever the fruit flies are crawling under them they can search under the leaves and stuff but yeah it looks pretty nice on here in here just gotta clean out the water dish and this is still like falling over i'll just have to lean it on there and hopefully it will stabilize itself and this guy's like what are you doing to my house sorry buddy i don't know what he's doing back there hunting Guys exploring, came out of his coconut. Okay, I also did get this nice uh, spray pump. What was this pump sprayer from Menards? Because my other sprayer broke, and I'm just sick of like having to go like this a bunch of times, you know. And this is really nice. You can just pump it up and spray it. I'm just gonna give the whole thing a spray down to keep the humidity up. See, look at how nice this thing is. You just have to pump it up and just spray it down. There's the humidity, 70, or 75 is the temp, 89 is the humidity. Yeah. Looks pretty nice in here. The plants are loving it. Frogs are loving it. And yeah. Sorry to interrupt your uh, your hunting. All right, cool. Now I just need to wipe off the glass. It's a little dirty. And obviously I need to dust my room, but that'll be a different day. So let's clean off the glass. That's the uh, dart frogs are doing good. It looks nicer in here. There's all the plants I trimmed. And for these guys as well, I do have to make some new fruit flies. Oh man, there's a lot in this one, but I do need to make another one. I don't know if I'm gonna show that, but if you do wanna know how I make them, uh, check out my very first video on the channel. I actually made some. And I just make these every like couple weeks and uh, they just reproduce and reproduce so I can feed my frogs. Okay, I made these guys some fruit flies. I just have to wait for this to cool and then I'll add them, which I probably won't show, but yep, got the date on there and I'll let that cool off. So that's everything uh, for the dart frogs. Next, I'll probably work on the tree frogs and just go on from there, but I'll probably have to do the, just everything throughout the next couple days because I'm busy and I work a lot, so. Yeah, I think that'll be good for today, and uh, I'll work on the rest in a couple days, so, yeah. Okay, I just got back from working at the pet store, and I got some crickets, some small ones and some large ones, and also got some new tongs. These are metal, because the other day, my bamboo ones just decided to break and I tried to tape it up, but it's not really working. But yeah, so like I showed you guys earlier, I cleaned these out and I can just dump these in here and give them some food. Okay, there we go. We set up the large crickets and this is just how I do it for both. But I do have to feed um, the tree frogs, some more crickets, because I ran out. And same with, uh, those guys over there, the firefly toads. And I get to try out my new tongs, so that'll be fun. But yeah, I'll have to do a feeding video eventually. 
just a video of all my pets eating. But yeah, I'm just gonna put these crickets away. And I just wanna show you guys, that's how I uh, set them up. So yeah.